Hello folks, my name is Apollos, and in this video I would like to share some thoughts with you regarding Daniel's video entitled The Guilt of Religion. Daniel, in your video you speak with strength and familiarity of the guilt and shame associated with these various commandments, these various rules, these various sins. You present, as sadly some religious people present, the very sort of religion that Jesus Christ destroyed, it's a religion devoid of hope, a religion devoid of freedom and forgiveness. You presented just the rules, rules without significance, commandments without guidance and direction. These are anything but Christianity. The Christianity that I understand to be true, Daniel, is the one that has Jesus Christ as the foundation. The rules and commandments you speak of are given their significance in light of the reality of Christ crucified and risen. Via the crucifixion and resurrection, Jesus Christ substantiates, he justifies, he demonstrates his authority to speak of what it means to be human, what life is about. He demonstrates his love and brings freedom freedom to those held captive by the chains of despair. The commandments and rules given in the scripture, articulated by the church and the saints, are meaningful because of Jesus Christ. In the absence of Jesus Christ, we are left with only rules and commandments. Only rules and commandments leaves us with only guilt and shame that paralyzes us with despair. When I experience guilt as a result of my sinfulness, I am not left alone, empty of significance, wondering, why am I following rules that many people could care less about? No, I am perpetually called by Jesus Christ to experience his forgiveness and healing, that I may find self again. The commandments provide the boundaries along this path of holiness that Christ has called us to walk. The commandments as you present them, Daniel, sadly even as some religious people present them, as they did during the time of Christ, are signposts pointing nowhere. They are boundaries with no goal, no purpose. That is not the Christianity that I know. Joy for me is found, as Anthony Bloom expresses, quote, when we shake off all that is worn and dead in us in order to become able to live and to live with all the vastness, all the depth and all the intensity to which we are called. Come to me. All who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. There, Jesus Christ tells us, that he has arrived to bring peace to our souls. Daniel, I am weary and heavy laden. The commandments and rules are not what calls me to find rest for my soul. I realize who I am I hear the voice of Christ calling. I respond to the voice of Christ calling, not to rules and regulations and commandments. In this way, Daniel, it's not about gay marriage or sex outside of marriage or masturbation. It's, it's not about any of that for me. This is fundamentally about a recognition of myself and responding to the one 
who brings rest to my soul. You all take care and peace be with you.